My name is Hong Ning Wang from University of Virginia Computer Science, and I'm very proud to introduce our research in collaborative online learning. We believe that's a cue to the big data, small data dilemma. Nowadays, everyone is enthusiastic about big data. It's just like, uh, let's take Google as an example. Google got millions of queries, and Amazon got millions of transactions per month. But when we're at the individual level, big data is only true at the aggregation level. While if we look at individual uh, user, none of them will have tens of thousands of queries a day. Regular users only have 10, maybe the most query to Google. How can Google build a personalized ranking algorithm only with 10 observations? It's almost impossible. And here we want to provide two cues to that problem. One is collaboration. If this guy haven't, uh, hasn't observed or tested this kind of query, let's ask the others. Let's ask them or require them to collaborate in an algorithmatic way. Another is to do online learning. That is to update the system immediately when we got the result from the user. So here we provide theoretical solutions to this with reinforcement learning. That is the system interact with the user and maybe sometimes ask a question to the user so we can mostly reduce uncertainty about the user's preferences and propagate this information to different users. And here we show both empirically and uh, theoretically this help to reduce the complexity of preferences learning. That is with uh, collaboration between users we reduce the requirement for the training data of a statistical learning algorithm. And with online learning, we can balance the exploration and exploitation. And here we show the result on several real world data sets, just like Yahoo Search Log and Delicious Recommendation Website Log. And we see great improvement, especially on those rare user and rare items. That is, we can do better recommendation for these less frequent users with a much more improved result. Definitely, there will be some concerns, just like privacy. What if we have malicious users? We try to propagate malicious information to the whole network. That will be definitely our future work.